uh, models have lots of different variables and they can change over time. But I think the number of cases we're seeing um, and the number of deaths that we're seeing lag behind those cases will continue for some time. And uh, I think 100,000 uh, by, by spring it is quite realistic. Uh, coming out of the lockdown in November, uh, end of November, early December, into the pre-Christmas festive shopping season um, was probably a great way for the virus to transmit um, further than before. Uh, especially with London and the Southeast coming out to tier two rather than tier three, uh, they were still free to shop and uh, mix uh, socially to a much larger extent than some of the other parts of the country. If the NHS is overwhelmed and they can't deliver the same standard of care as they could previously for COVID-19 patients, you may see some excess death related to that pressure. And you may start seeing that in London uh, fairly shortly because they're already uh, overloaded and decanting patients out to elsewhere in the country where they have ICU capacity. This virus is not quite as transmissible as chickenpox and measles, but it's in that ballpark, we think. So if you're talking to somebody and you're both not masked, the risk will be higher than with the previous uh, strains of the virus. Even if you are masked now with this high transmissibility, the masking may not be sufficient over that time period, five to 15 minutes to protect you completely or protect you as much as before with the previous variants as with this new variant. So with this new virus, the social distancing of two meters is really much more important than it was before. And the, the wearing of face masks universally between speaker and listener uh, in those encounters is more important than it was before. If this is the antibody here uh, induced by the vaccine or national infection, and this is the S protein that it binds to, with the normal virus will bind quite nicely to that uh, virus S protein. Now, the variant, the UK variant, has one uh, mutation in the spike uh, RBD, the, re the receptor, receptor binding domain. So if there's a little kind of mutation here, changing the shape slightly, the antibody will still bind to most of that protein, even though it doesn't bind to that new mutation. But certainly think the Moderna vaccine and the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccines are very good because the mRNA vaccines can actually be modified very quickly within a few months to actually uh, match these new variants much quicker than the older technology subunit and whole virus inactivated vaccines.